G'day. It's great to have you join us as we talk about the serotonin antagonists that act as anti-emetics. Ondansetron, Dolacitron, and other drugs that end in the suffix S-E-T-R-O-N are anti-emetics and as such decrease nausea and vomiting. Ondansetron is one of the most commonly used anti-emetics. It's on the World Health Organization's list of essential medications, and it acts both centrally and peripherally to be a very effective medication in controlling chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Let's take a closer look at on Dancitron and other S-E-T-R-O-N drugs. The vomiting center in the medulla can be activated directly by irritants or indirectly following input from four major areas. The first area is the cerebral cortex. So an example of some stimuli that would prompt the cerebral cortex and send messages over to the vomiting center would be extreme pain or anxiety. And examples of drugs that would decrease the inputs from the cerebral cortex include the benzodiazepines. Another area that can send messages over to the vomiting center in the medulla is the vestibular area an example of a condition that originates in the vestibular area and can prompt nausea and vomiting is, of course, motion sickness. And the neurotransmitters that are involved in motion sickness are the histamine 1 and the acetylcholine. So the best medications for motion sickness are usually going to be the histamine 1 antagonists, or in other words, the antihistamines and the acetylcholine antagonists. The last two areas that can prompt nausea and vomiting include from the vagal nerve of the GIT, for instance, if there's damage to the GIT, and from the chemoreceptor trigger zone, which is up right next to the vomiting center in the medulla. Both of those areas use serotonin as the neurotransmitter, and both of those areas are affected as a person goes through chemotherapy. In most instances, Ondansetron and other SETRON drugs are the most effective drugs for relieving nausea and vomiting from chemotherapy. So just knowing the pathways, you see, you can actually predict the effectiveness of antiemetics. One would not expect Ondansetron to be an effective agent in decreasing emesis from motion sickness, for instance, because the pathways that go from the vestibular area into the vomiting center are not going to be mediated by serotonin. In that instance, you would actually choose one of the first-generation antihistamines or the anticholinergic agents to decrease the motion sickness. Ondansetron is a relatively expensive anti-emetic drug. It's oftentimes prescribed for people who are undergoing cancer chemotherapy, and we've actually found, though, that the ondansetron, the use of ondansetron, decreases hospital stays in people who are undergoing chemotherapy. So that uh, offsets the cost of the medication. Ondansetron is a well-tolerated medication. Uh, constipation, diarrhea, dizziness, and headache are the most commonly reported side effects. Serious effects would be a prolongation of the QT wave, and that's more common when the person is on dolacitron rather than ondansetron. Ondansetron has been used off-label for morning sickness, but it's a pregnancy category B in the United States and a B1 in Australia. 
and now you understand that ondansetron, dolacetron, and other drugs that end in the suffix s-e-t-r-o-n are oral or intramuscular serotonin antagonists that decrease nausea and vomiting. While these medications are relatively expensive for anti-emetic drugs, they are particularly good in people undergoing chemotherapy, and as such, they oftentimes decrease the hospital stay after chemotherapy. Serotonin antagonists are specific inhibitors of 5-HT serotonergic receptors. They control vomiting by acting on the peripheral vagal nerve and centrally on the chemoreceptor trigger zone next to the vomiting center. And these receptors are normally stimulated by serotonin released from cells of the small intestine in response to damage in the GIT and in the chemoreceptor trigger zone by toxins or drug toxins. The serotonin antagonists are relatively well tolerated except for the rare serious cardiovascular manifestations that are more common with dolacetron than ondansetron. And now you know. Thanks for joining me.